We're here today at, uh, what's the title of the allotment? New East Allotments. New East Allotments in Salford. And uh, taking a general look around on, on what people do on a day-to-day -day basis. How, how many eggs a day does a chicken lay? Um, it varies on the different breeds, but it has usually one egg, one, one egg per chicken per day. Yeah. And um, what sort of chickens are these that we're looking at now? These are Manx chickens that are a breed called a Warren. It's a hybrid between a Rhode Island Red and something else. Um, and these are what they generally use in battery farms. Oh. Hello, ladies. They're all. They've all got the bug for show sure. There's a good sense of community uh, on the allotments. Yeah. Um, is there, a, is there a, do you need members or is is there, is there a waiting list for There's a waiting list for the for allotments? Um, yeah. The council have just spent a hell of a lot of money bringing all the uh, area of the land from where the composting bays are up that end to where South Bend's new part at this end. And it was 15 plots which they brought back into use and they've divided them into half Why of the is. <laughs> I've not seen a scarecrow for years. There's a few and, on uh, here. Alan's got one down on this plot. Um, Alan and Anne have got a couple behind the sheds and Alan's got one, like I say, peeing up the shed. Well, he looks scary enough to me and I believe he's called Freddy Krueger. <laughs> nice so, uh, Jim, whose who's, uh, allotment is this part, this, this, this section? This is Laddie's allotment. Can you tell me what he's growing here? Yep, yeah, he's got close rings growing at the far end and then as you come further down he's got a bed of leeks, um, a bed of beetroot, some strawberries, he's got onions, they're red onions, white onions, shallots. Um, as you go a bit further down he's got rows of brassicas and certain cabbages, cauliflowers, um, savoy cabbages, then these tall things are broad beans and then as you go further down there are all the potato plants and as the young kids say today potato <laughs> i don't know where that's originated from but every teenager i meet these days is shouting out potato for some reason so <laughs> there you go kids there's fields and fields of potatoes growing in salford to the nest boxes which he uh, he watches brings down uh, equipment that he can hook up to it and uh, watches when the blue tits are in and, there. And uh, how, how do you find uh, this throughout the year? I mean, is it an all-round year thing, that, an allotment? Depending on, the, on your age, your physical condition, and really what part of the country you're in, to me, I'm physically fit enough to enjoy it all the year round. If you maybe have some form of disability or you're not that mobile, then it might be best from, say, February to September. Uh, and uh, in a brief explanation, how would you present a, a season on an allotment? I mean, do you have different things going at different times of the year? Yeah, the first part of the first part of the year, if we call it spring, is preparation: seeds going in, pots being cleaned, and then soil being kind of attended to. Then there's the growing season, then there's the harvesting, and then it's a, a cycle again. I see, uh, Jim, that uh, they don't only grow vegetables on the plots. A lot of people have some lovely flower arrangements as well. Could you just uh, tell everybody what these are? Yeah, at the far end you've got some pink peonies coming down uh, in between the fruit trees. There's some, I think, delphiniums. And as you pan further this way, there's some lilies and tiger lilies. And then it's got a, a row of different types of fruit trees. And then at the other side, they're aquilegia. They wait until you get your suit on and then <laughs> go in your pocket.
I'm here today uh, on new East allotments with Mr. John Lockyer, uh, beekeeper, who's been very kind uh, and invited us on onto the allotment to have a look round. Um, can you tell me, John, uh, when did you start being a beekeeper, or when when did you want to be a beekeeper? I wanted to be a beekeeper for many many years, but I actually started to be a beekeeper two years ago. And uh, can you tell me? Roughly, how, how many bees does it take to uh, fill a hive or to make, say, the average jar of honey? Well, an average, on average, a healthy beehive will have 40,000 bees in it. Uh, the average, what we call super, where all the honey is stored, the weight of that is about 25 pound on average. And it takes, once again, on average, two and a half frames of honey to make one pound of honey. And can you tell me what happens to the end product, with the, which everybody loves, with the breakfast and the cereals and what have you? That lovely honey. Well, I we keep some for ourselves naturally, and any that's left over and spare, we put it in the uh, uh, the container shop on a Sunday morning, where if people wish to purchase purchase a jar of honey, we would ask them for a donation. And that's a horticultural shop. Yeah. And here is the end product, a lovely jar of golden honey.